There is an online petition calling for the ban of Katy Perry's new music video on YouTube. Muslims worldwide are signing this petition, and more than uh, 30,000 people have already signed it. It's for the music video for the song Dark Horse. And apparently in the video, which is set in ancient Egypt, it features a queen-like Perry zapping a man wearing a god pendant who eventually disintegrates into a pile of sand. Now they're really upset about this because he's wearing the God pendant. They're like, what is this supposed to mean? Is it symbolic? Do you hate God? Um, and also, uh, people from different walks of life, different religions, and from different parts of the world agree that the video promotes blasphemy. Using the name of God in an irrelevant and distasteful manner would be considered inappropriate by any religion. Yeah, I think yeah, you might have misused the word ir irrelevant there. I think you meant irreverent. If it was irrelevant, then you wouldn't have bothered to do a petition about it. Okay, so now, uh, first of all, uh, let's understand a couple of things. If she was in ancient Egypt, there probably wouldn't have been a guy wearing a chain with Arabic on it. Uh, the Arabs came later into Egypt, so mm, it might, there might be a problem with the video, and it's, uh, I'm a little upset about the, the fact that they didn't square the timing on that. Mm. Okay, second of all, did Katy Perry even know what that Arabic writing was, let alone the director or anybody involved in the video? They were probably like, I don't know, it's Egypt. That looks Arabic. Put it in there and go. Yeah. Right? You really think her, it, their point was to ha <laughs> disintegrate the guy with the god of it in Arabic and it's, <laughs> we got you Muslims. Katy Perry's probably like, high five. People are so incredibly sensitive. Right, so like if Katy Perry made a music video where she's making fun of my core values, I don't know, like progressivism. Like I'm not gonna like <laughs> do an online petition calling for a ban on her music video. If anything, we'd do it on the show, we'd make fun of it, we'd laugh and we'd move on with our lives, right? It's ridiculous, Why? if you're so secure in your religion and your beliefs, you shouldn't care what anyone has to say. It's so dumb. And by the way, there's never been a movie, video, or et cetera, that someone got pulverized or shot or killed when they were wearing a cross. My guess is that there's been a significant number of movies made that way, right? And it wasn't because they hated Christians or Jesus Christ. Man, Muslims are a sensitive lot. So Look, are Christians. Like, uh, uh, most religious people, not most religious people, the ones that are the squeakiest, the squeakiest wheels, right, of religion, they're the most sensitive. You're absolutely right. And they get, but th those are the ones that are the most devout believers. So like in this case, 30,000 people signed the petition. There's a billion Muslims in the world, over a billion, right? So d it's not all Muslims. Of course not. It's a small minority. But the guys who are like, in their minds, the most observant and fundamentalist, et cetera, the ones that they think are the most certain that God or Allah exists are the ones that always, when you challenge that assumption, get so pissy about it. Like, oh my God, why do you say that? No, 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 how dare you? It's blasphemy. Okay, dude, if you really believe that, Katy Perry's gonna be in a pit of fire for the rest of time, so yeah, let you're God, covered. Let God take care of it, right? If yeah. you believe in it, he, she's gonna get hers, and you live your life, and you're gonna have a great afterlife and that's all that matters. And I just the reality don't get it. is with Orthodox Muslims, Christians, Jews, it doesn't matter because they don't actually believe in it. That's why they get that touchy.